I'm not here for weaves, wigs, or false hair of any kind. I'm disappointed. This is why I only watch at Goodbye. So if y'all have been here for a while, you know that every once in a while I make videos that are very candid and very raw, where I just kind of talk to you all about how I feel, about what's irritating me, about things that I feel are really absurd that are going on with me. Now, of course, you saw that comment at the beginning, and I decided to hide the influencer's name because it's not about her. She's actually someone I love and watch. Her channel is phenomenal, and I don't want any of this to look like an attack on her, her channel, and her brand. I did, however, want to highlight this comment because this is the kind of rhetoric that just absolutely irks me and makes me just hate the natural hair community, high key, not even low key, high key. Now I'm going to talk about all of this at length and in depth, of course, but before we get into the video, please, I'd like to let you guys know that I have a Patreon. Be sure to support me on there. It'll encourage me to make more videos, especially ones about hair since I'm low key ready to throw in the towel, man's tired. And I'm going to explain all of that in this video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at epicsara to see the other things that I do very, very well. Comment down below. Let me know how you feel about this natural hair community that I think should be called the natural hair cult. Share this video with anybody who really needs to get a grip. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe and also turn your notifications on so you know exactly when I post a new video. Now, without any further ado, let's just get right into this video. It's going to be a very unique one. Now I'm so tired of being told that if I don't wear my hair, I hate myself, or if I don't wear my fro, oh, I'm like some sort of like a bed, or I'm submitting to supremacy, blah, 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 and all sorts of rhetoric. Now granted, because I'm not necessarily very dark skinned, my own experience has not been as deep. But if I decide I want to wear a wig or talk about something aside from my natural hair, people are just very, very obnoxious. For those people, does anyone know how difficult it can be to maintain long and thick natural hair? My hair is a lot of work. And it's not that I don't love my hair, I do, don't get me wrong. But at the same time, I want my hair to be healthy and happy. And sometimes my hair being healthy and happy means cornrowing it and tucking it away for as long as I possibly can. Aside from that, the brands they're trying to pay are weave and wig brands. I'm not going to turn down an opportunity to make money and an opportunity to collect hair because I mean, it's an easy way for me to change up my look without spending money, instead I'm making money. So when I see those kinds of comments, it's like, okay, you might as well just leave. Nobody's going to miss you anyway, because at the end of the day, I'm not going to stop doing what it is that I want to do. I'm going to continue to be unapologetically myself. And if I feel like popping on a wig and looking like Samantha one day, then sue me, fam. Your opinion is not going to make me stop wearing fake hair. And me choosing to wear fake hair does not mean I hate myself. It just means that I enjoy experimenting with the way I look. Now, funnily enough, I made a video that's not too far off from this one because people tried to say I was black fishing. So you can check that out over here. In that video, it was again, the same kind of rhetoric, like, oh, you don't love yourself. Ugh, why are you trying to like pretend you're black? And it's like, bro, I'm literally African. Like how much more black could you possibly be? But that aside, what we're talking about here is natural hair. It can be really exhausting wearing my hair all the time. And on top of that, obviously, I haven't made any demonstration videos for you in a while. And it's not because I don't want to, it's just because I'm extremely busy and to do that is a lot of work. Usually those types of videos take two to three days to film properly and on top of that, the editing process is really intense. I don't want to put out subpar content. I really appreciate you all and I don't feel that you deserve subpar content. It's unfair for me to put out content that's not going to actually be enriching and fruitful. I have some really awesome videos that I did for you all, but I've refused to put them out because I feel that they're not up to par. And until I'm in a position to give you all exactly what you deserve, which is fantastic content for me, I'm going to be very selective with what I put out. 
Now, 2020 is on the horizon, I know, and I do want to be more consistent, which I'm going to work on very, very well. But again, if I'm going to do that for you all, it means that I need to take care of myself and I need to take care of my hair, which means I'm not gonna be wearing my hair all the time. If you all actually want to see it thrive, then allow me to do me. And I do want to appreciate all of you who are fine and who came to my rescue with that first comment. And thank you for being understanding and recognizing that my expression of self, my choice to wear fake hair from time to time is not a reflection of self-hatred. It's more me just doing what's easiest for me at any given time or responding to a business opportunity. Now, the second thing I hate about the natural community and even like the skincare community is the insistence that all your products need to be natural. Like, um, I know I'm probably being real shady <laughs> and I'm not trying to knock any other YouTubers that do promote natural products. I do not see anything wrong with the use of strictly natural products. If that's what works for you and your body, that's totally fine. However, what I don't appreciate is the ignorance and misinformation surrounding synthetic. Now in skincare, I'm not about that natural product life. I'm not trying to kill myself. And y'all can watch people like LA Beautyologist. She can tell you all about that because she's a black esthetician and um, talks about skincare on her channel pretty much exclusively. So for me, I'm about synthetics that work very well. Saying that, oh, you need to use only natural products like everything natural is good for you is really ignorant because it's like saying, oh, poison ivy is natural, so I should put that on my face. Are you mad, bruv? No, but on some serious ish, like, come on now, that doesn't make any sense. The same way it doesn't make sense to use baking soda in your hair, like, are you okay? <laughs> That's absurd. The pH of baking soda is high and that could disrupt not only your scalp's pH, but the cuticle of your hair so much so that it may not be able to recover. So when I see that rhetoric of, you can't use grease because it's not natural. I mean, it literally comes from fossil fuel, which is natural. <laughs> Guys, sorry about that. But basically it literally comes from fossil fuel, which is natural. So ultimately when people say that, it's more a sign of their own ignorance. Granted, it is derived from the fossil fuel. It's not everything that the fossil fuel is made of, but because it's refined, it's even much safer. You can even use it on your baby for goodness sake. That's how safe Vaseline, petrolatum, cosmetic grade petrolatum is. Now I'm not about that life of using things like mayo and avocado to deep condition my hair. Now I'm sure that they lend a lot of moisture, but at the same time, when it comes to saying that, oh, these things are gonna give my hair a lot of protein. Can your hair really absorb molecules that large? Can your scalp really benefit from molecules that large? Is it not amino acids that are going to actually pass the skin barrier and then also your cuticle? So, I mean, come on now. While a lot of natural products are really fantastic, it's important to be informed. And I feel like a lot of people in the natural hair community are extremely misinformed and give synthetics a bad, bad name. Science is there for a reason, fam. Like, I'm not a scientist, and I did actually want to be a biologist. If I had not become a musician, that's what I would have been. But science is there to help <laughs> and to make what we see more easily consumable in a lot of ways. Now, of course, there are different types of sciences and that's not the aim of every science, but there are a lot of really fantastic chemists that literally like devote their lives to deriving the best from natural products and throwing away those things that will not only irritate, but will hinder. So for me, that's one of the most obnoxious pieces of rhetoric surrounding the natural hair community. Again, I'm a huge proponent of synthetics and as somebody with very sensitive skin, I've seen how effectively well-formulated synthetics work for my skin. I've also seen how effectively simple formulations of synthetic materials work for my scalp and my hair from. So while I incorporate a lot of natural products, I'm also not going to run away from certain synthetics. And if anything, I'm going to use synthetics to bolster my natural products. Now this next thing that frustrates me about the natural hair community is gonna move a bit to the left, 
because it's not necessarily something that's related to what we were talking about just a second ago, but it is another thing that people are pretty manic about, and that's growth videos. I am very passionate about growing my hair. But what's frustrating is that I feel almost like if I'm not making a growth video, y'all are not trying to watch. Now I know that most of my other videos get views, like let's be real. I think I'm pretty blessed on YouTube and hopefully it seems like you guys like to see me, like see my face, like to hear me talk, which is pretty cool. So I'm grateful and I love you all for supporting me very, very sincerely. But at the same time, like see, I can only make so many growth videos, y'all. And while everyone is obsessed with long hair, there are also a lot of great naturals with shorter hair that don't get as much love simply because their hair is not abnormally long or full. My hair is something I should just be thankful for as opposed to complaining. But I'm also capable of doing so much more with hair, which again, I don't want to really do haphazardly. In 2020, I'm going to do a better job of delivering to you all, but it's not necessarily easy being the only one doing this with myself, editor, videographer, photographer, etc., etc., and putting out really quality content. Now the natural hair community is very, very broad, but I feel like the same problems persist. If you're not light-skinned with loose textured hair, people likely will not watch you with the same vehemence. And then now, 4C hair is really popping, thank God, because, I mean, us very kinky-haired natural hair people would not be able to thrive in this kind of environment if it wasn't. I still feel like a lot of times, lighter-skinned naturals get a lot more love than people with dark skin, which is problematic, especially lighter-skinned naturals with kinky hair. Now, this is not me trying to be hateful or anything like that. I feel like generally darker skin naturals either have to have super on point information or have to be a bit gimmicky in order to get a comparable amount of attention, which is problematic. Like, I'm not gonna be your court jester if I'm, I just want to be myself. One of my old friends told me one time that I need to chill out in my videos and just be myself, which is so true. Naturally, I have a very introverted personality. Um, I'm very relaxed generally. When I know someone, I can be really silly. I can be really rambunctious. And some of my friends and I, we even like rough house. That's how silly we are. But it's not in my nature to be so extra on YouTube. So again, I'm not going to be nobody's court jester. I just want to be myself. And thankfully, you guys seem to appreciate the information that I provide, but it can be really challenging sometimes because when I put out other content, it's like, oh my gosh, we're not going to watch this because it's not about Zara's long hair. Like, come on now. Come on, y'all. <laughs> like, there are people that deserve a lot more views and a lot more love, but aren't getting it because they are not light skinned and their hair is not abnormally popping. It's difficult for dark skinned naturals with thin, short hair, but there's an audience out there that actually wants to see that kind of content. Now, it's not just on YouTube that these problems are really pervasive, it's also all over Instagram and Twitter. Like when I go on natural hair pages, I see your basic archetype of a fairly light person with a really big afro. Go figure, that's what we're used to seeing. Um, darkest skin tone I see is like maybe my skin tone or a little bit darker, unless the person has abnormally popping hair. I'm used to seeing that all the time on the most popping natural hair pages. Now for me, it's just stuff like that that makes me very much over the natural hair community. I'm pretty sure I've complained about this in a video before, but it's exhausting. Now, a quick disclaimer, I'm not trying to knock or bash anybody because at the end of the day, we are born a certain way. We cannot help what we are genetically predisposed to turn out like. That's just how the cookie crumbles. But as a society, we can make the playing field more fair for all people of color and actually love ourselves in the many beautiful shades that we come in, the many beautiful textures the many beautiful sizes, et cetera, et cetera. Now what's so crazy about the natural hair community is just like the pretension, the arrogance, it's exhausting. I'm tired of seeing people tell other people 
how they are or who they are. It's like, um, you don't know this person, you've never touched this person's hair. Why are you so pressed? And I'm sure that happens in other communities on YouTube, but I feel like it happens more often in this type of community. But the only community I'd be seeing that type of retention in, aside from this one, is the photography community. When people are trying to share information and say, this is this and this is that. So for instance, on F-stoppers, I see that often, you know, a lot of like pretentious comments. But why should I be seeing that in a video where I'm literally just trying to tell you what works for my hair and you're trying to tell me that this is not what's gonna work for your hair. And it's like, um, I literally sleep with my hair. I live with my hair. I eat and drink with my hair. Like, I think I know what my hair likes. Come on now. Like y'all, I know I sound exhausted, but it's because talking about this is mentally exhausting me. Like I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm physically tired, I'm mentally tired. It's too much, it's really too much. People do too much. Personally, I am so much more than just my hair, for goodness sake. And I'd like to show that to you all in the new year, if you all would let me. But again, I feel like it's really difficult as a black woman to create content that's not about beauty or natural hair or comedy. Who's gonna watch? But I want to try something different and I'm going to bring you guys a lot of different content. Please let me know down below if you'd like to see me traveling, see me doing my photography and etc. And do I need to make a new channel to show you all those things? I'm not about to be talking about no drama unless something really speaks to my spirit. Otherwise, that's not who I'm trying to become. I don't want to succumb or feed into gimmicks to be the success that I know I'm meant to be on this platform. So guys, let me know. I do so much more. The first thing I do, I'm a composer. That is my degree, both undergraduate and master's. I mean, I also got violin performance degree in my undergrad, but as much as I love performing on violin, there's nothing I love more than writing music. I'm also a photographer, which is a more recent passion of mine. And I'm somehow like really good at it. I didn't expect that to happen and I've been published. So that's pretty cool. I'm also a video editor and cinematographer. I'm much better at editing than I am at filming, which is fine by me. And I've been working on my filming technique, which I'm trying to improve so I can make really brilliant content for you all. I just feel like the community is becoming really monotonous. I'm tired of seeing the same old stuff and I want to see something different on my channel first. <laughs> and hopefully I'll inspire others to create exciting content. I see a lot of the people I watch make photography videos and I'm just like, dang, their content is so icy. Like, how far? Why can't we do that in our community? Well, let me be amongst the first to actually do things very, very differently and approach in a way that's going to satisfy me creatively. I know this was kind of a long thing. I'm actually really exhausted because again, all these things like are kind of stressful immensely exhausting i get tired thinking about them and talking about them but i wanted to talk to you all because i think it's time for a change and something has got to give like dang like people need to stop policing people on the internet for choosing to do what they want to do with their hair for god's sake i can't wear a fro every day my hair will fall out my head like are you kidding me i'm also not willing to give in to the consistent rhetoric that is just permeating this community it's exhausting it's tiring like damn everybody else does their research in like every other community can't we do our own research and actually say things that are educated as opposed to just like spouting nonsense Long story short, I'm sitting here in peace with my leave-in and my hair grief bars and I'm not going to change who I am unless it is to improve myself. The core of who I am needs to remain the same. I can't lose myself to this. So with all of that being said, guys and gals and everyone in between, everyone who also doesn't identify with anything. Guys, I know you're probably like, why are you addressing everyone? Because we're trying to be inclusive. I need to be inclusive. And I know that some of you watch my channel and do not fit into categories that are seen as more traditional. So I want you to know that I see you and I appreciate you. But anyway, thank you guys so much for hearing me just talk. Comment down below. Let me know your own thoughts, please. And thank you. Add to this conversation. How do you feel about the natural hair community, aka cult? What are you tired of? I want to know. There's much that has exhausted me at this point and I want to know if I'm the only one that feels this way or if there are other people that share the same or similar sentiment. So talk to me down below and I'll see you in the next video. Again, please subscribe and turn your notifications on so you know every time I post a new video 
And last but never least, please give this video a big thumbs up so YouTube knows that this content is worth viewing. Thank you all so much. I love you and God bless you.